Wel, hallo iedereen. Mijn naam is Jacomina van der Sarboot en ik ben een Stampin' Up! demonstratrice in Nederland en in Canada. En um, ik ben eigenlijk Canadees met een Nederlander getrouwd en ik mag deelnemen van de Stampin' Up! Dream Girls um, video hop vandaag. Um, mijn collega Ellie Rijnvis is de volgende in de hop. Zo so, als jij, ja, um, yeah. Ik ga verder in Engels, hoor, want het Nederlands, dat kan ik wel praten als ik met iemand zit praten, maar in een video vind ik toch wel een beetje moeilijk. Ja, ik, uh, ik struikel een beetje over, over het woord description. Zo, so, onder de video staan al de details van, van de video op en zoiets. So, if you look underneath the video, click on the show more and then you will get the details for this video hop. And then you can click on the link to go to Ellie's um, uh, video. The theme of this video hop is fall or herfst. So let's take a look at what I am doing. I might throw in a few Dutch phrases here and there, but uh, the video will go on in English. So I'm going to be using the, the um, stamp set. It seems to be zoomed in quite a bit. Let's just zoom out and you can see my laptop, which is really not good make a few little changes here. Okay, so I'm using Herfst Wense and Magical Meadow. So for Magical Meadow, I'm only using the dies and I've already die cut them. So they are the following. Those are all the dies from that I'm using from Magical Meadow. And then from Herfst Wense, I'm using the stamp that says Herfst de tijd van het loslaten. And it says fall is the time to let go. At least that's what it says in Dutch. So I really love the sayings in Dutch. Gekondoleerd, uh, which is condolences. Altijd in onze gedachten, always in our thoughts. Kracht en liefde, power and love. We denken aan je, we're thinking of you. Heel veel sterkte, very much strength. That's what people will say whenever you're going through something hard. They'll say sterkte. So we're going to be using early espresso ink. And then the saying, Herfst is the tight van het loslaten. Um, a stamp and write marker in early espresso. The nice thing about stamping up is that everything coordinates. I'm using the autumn paper, which should be back in stock again. And early espresso cardstock. And then I'm also using the distressed gold paper for a leaf. These leaves are die cuts from Head of Spencer. And then I also did one, this is the back of the paper that I'm using. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them all, we'll see. I just thought I'd have them ready. And then the last thing I'm using is this gold and it's gold adhesive back paper. So I've cut some strips of it. These are um, one centimeter long, okay? So they're 12 inches by one centimeter or 30.5 centimeters by one centimeter. I just left them the full length um, you'll see why in a minute. And then my card base is going to be the large memories and more. So the card front is about six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And let's get started. So I'm going to grab my ruler just so that I can tell you what the measurements are. This piece is four inches by six inches. So I've just cut a two inch piece off the six by six paper. And then this is just a couple of uh, millimeters bigger on each side okay um, yeah you can just eyeball that no no big deal so let's glue those two together I like using this uh, multi-purpose liquid glue because it sticks really well and it's really easy to do especially for beginners just do a thin bead all around and then you can slide it around so that it fits that the margins are fairly even. See, and I didn't cut my mine perfectly, so I have a little bit of an edge, bigger edge. If you choose not to measure, you can eyeball it and then just get your paper trimmer out and I'm just gonna trim a wee little bit. Or you could just leave it the way it is. It's not, not a big deal. So now, before I put this on my card base, I have this square for the sentiment. And it's four centimeters. The vanilla is four centimeters square. And this one is, oh, look at that. There's even a little stitched edge that I didn't see on there on two sides. 
Okay, well, that's okay. We're going to use it because this is what I have. This is um, four point. No, I'm going to measure a bit. I forget. It was late last night. Oh, yeah, this is 4.5 centimeters square. 4.5 centimeters square. And the early espresso is five centimeters. Okay, so 4.5 and five. So now we're going to take the header stamp set, ink it up, tap, tap, tap. We don't have to press hard. And one, two, three, four, five. I like to count to five to give the ink time to transfer because sometimes I am an impatient squirrel. There. This card is really a cool card. And now it's kind of neat that it has that stitched edge on two sides that I did not intend. It was a leftover scrap and I must have cut out a stitched rectangle or something. So people don't, if you're trying to copy this card, don't bother with the stitched edge. So now we're going to put this down like that about on the top third, like so. And I'm not going to pop it up, I'm gonna leave it flat. And you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to surround this piece with those strips of gold. Now this paper has been on back order, but apparently it is going to be available again this week. So I will check afterwards, hopefully it's available for you. The links to shop with me will be, will be in the um, description. It's also the last couple days, it's the 28th today. There's a deal on the starter kit that is going until October 31st, and you might want to take advantage of that. So I'm going to put this piece across. It doesn't really matter where you start. Maybe I'll start on this side. So I'm going to grab some scissors. I'm just going to lay this across, and then I'm going to cut here. Sorry, I should have paused the video before rolling back. It's very casual. Here. And now to get this off, sometimes it doesn't work so well. First go. I... There we go. No, I've de delaminated it. Just a minute. I need my pokey tool, okay? I call it pokey tool, but this thing is officially known as a take your pick tool. And I find that it's the easiest just to dig right into this backing and then lift it up. See, like so. There. And how was I going to do this? Was I starting on this side? No, I'm going to start here. So you want to make sure you butt right up against that edge. Like so. And then I'm going to turn this around and fold this back. So that I don't get anything lifting. Sometimes with stickers, you never know. So I just thought this would be easy and I don't have to do any cutting. So that's my first strip. My second one is going to butt against here. There. Trim it with your scissors. Jab it with your take your pick tool. There. I like that. Push it right up against this piece. And then fold this piece back. Give it a little push first because it is quite stiff. It's nice, strong um, paper. It's like cardstock. It's not washi tape. It looks like washi tape. Now, this piece is too short, so I'll save that for another card. That's why I kept my pieces long, so I didn't have to guess. So I'm just going to push that up against here. Trim it off. I'm trimming this one a little bit like that. Give it a jab with your pokey tool. There we go. And it really is quite a stunning effect. I don't know, I forget what it's called, a faux aperture card. I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the description. Press that back. And then we only have one piece left to go in between here. And I should really measure this, but some people hate to measure. So I'm just going to lay it here and then go with my scissors and maybe a hair more than what should be in enough tuck in. Yeah. So again, give it a jab. 
we go. Push it right up against. And there we have it. So now we have our card front. It's looking really pretty. We're going to put it on our Memories of More card base. And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of embellishments. This is a nice big size of card and it comes with a coordinating envelope. So you don't have to do any prep work for that. I absolutely love this. So let's put some adhesive on the back. And then we'll add our die cuts. And then that's it. So it's a simple card. That gold sheet will go a long ways. It's great for making die cuts too that are self-adhesive. So there's only about a two millimeter edge on this because it is a white card base with a very vanilla middle, but I like the very vanilla with the, the beautiful paper. So now I thought I would take these in and make a little bouquet. Add a little early espresso. And for this one, I thought it might be neat. I could do it like so, but I want to show you a little trick. I'm just going to do this. With the um, Stampin' Write marker, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. I'm going to go like so. I'm going to move a few things out of my way. I'm going to make the stem dark. And then, it doesn't look like much yet, but you'll see. Then I want to go along the bottom of each little florette. And I'm not much of an artist, okay? So if I can do this, you can do this. That's why I fell in love with Stampin' Up! because I couldn't draw. And stamps are beautiful. So now on the bottom, I'm just going to make kind of a little... Oops, sorry. And then you've got like a winter berry. beautiful bush. I don't know if that's what it's called, but they're white berries that are on shrubs in the winter. And this is much easier than doing a double die cut or fussy cutting. And it's quite striking. I could have cut this one out in gold as well. Okay, now let's get it off that background. And see how nice that is. Isn't that beautiful? I'm impressed myself. Now I do see a little white spot here so make sure that you get it all. You don't want it to look like peeling paint. There. I think you could probably use your blends as well but I wanted to show the marker. There. Let's get the bottom of the tip. There. Okay. I think our bouquet is ready. Look at how nice that is. I am so impressed. Okay. Let's just bring it back. And look. oh yeah, that looks really nice. So I could just put a little puddle of glue here and squish it all on, which I might do, and then tie it with a, a linen thread or something, instead of doing it all individually. I can be a very lazy stamper. You know what? Watch this. I'm going to keep it as a bundle. And I'm just playing here, okay? I never do this. I mean, I do play, but I've never done this little bold. I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive on the back of these. There. Usually I use a sponge and I'm all particular, but not this time. I'm just kind of holding it all. And giving it a little push. Look at that. And now I'm going to make a bow. I'm quite impressed with my messy uh, arrangement. Okay, let's have a look, see. You know, there's so much bling going on with the gold sparkle paper that I've decided to tone it down with some linen thread. So I'm taking a double piece of linen thread about 12 inches or so, 30 centimeters. And it's a double, oops. And I haven't even cut the loop, okay? So we're just making a bow. Like so. 
So the bow is very much like my bouquet, a bit messy. Pull down. There, now I need to cut my loop. And it's a rainy, rainy day here. And then I'm just going to put that right there. Doesn't that look beautiful? I need a glue dot. Here we go. Glue dot is coming. I'm, I apologize now if my face has not been in the square the whole time. I've been looking at my work and I have, I just pushed that bow onto the glue dot, pick it up with the take the pick tool, and then I'm going to put it right there. Isn't that nice? And then in the inside, you could do a thing. I'm just going to do, do my three leaves and I'm going to leave it because I don't know who this card is going to. So, and maybe, maybe, I'm not sure which, you know, now we agonize over the details. How do we, I kind of like it like that. Okay. Um, See, now just put glue in the middle so that it pops up a little bit. And then, three. There. And I could do all tight in onze gedachten or gekondoleerd, but I, it could be even for somebody who has been in a relationship that ended. So, I do find that it's easiest to not stamp in the inside till I know who it's going to. So, what thank you for my card? Find you leuk? As you him leuk find, give me as you believe in um a duimpje and uh, deal it on Pinterest or on Facebook. And as you heel lief wil zijn, dan kan je iets achterlaten. Dan kan je een, een commentaar achterlaten. What I just said in Dutch is, if you love my card, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Um, share my video on Pinterest or um, on Facebook. And if you're really feeling the love, leave a comment. And don't forget to click on Ellie's link so that you can see what she's done with the fall theme. Um, I met Ellie at On Stage in Vienna and she is an absolute delight. So thank you, Dream Team, Dream Girls, for including me in this blog hop. Nog een hele fijne dag. Have a super day. And big hugs from Holland to any Canadians who might be watching. This is the first video I've done without saying, hello, Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper. So I'll end with, goodbye, Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper. Have a super day, and thank you so much for joining me. Bye.